Okay, so Reaper version 4 is out. It's been out for a little while. Um, this is what it looks like. This is my usual track template with um, the usual tracks that I have for recording. And so I'm just going to run through the basics of Reaper again with the new version. Um, first of all, recording audio is really easy. You just hit the record button on a track and then you hit the master record button or hit control R and it'll start recording on that track or however many tracks you selected, you can record on all of them if you want. Um, if nothing happens, it's probably because you haven't set up your recording interface correctly, so hit options, go to preferences, and you can select your, uh, your sound card. If you use an external one for a guitar or microphones or something, you can do it there. Um, I have a piece of audio already recorded here. The, the basics of manipulating audio, if you go to the edge of the audio, you get this bracket and these arrows, and you can just loop it, and it'll loop the audio continuously. Um, to adjust the, the volume of a single piece of audio, you can go up to the top of it and just drag it. You can make it quieter. Um, to do fade-ins and fade-outs, which I get asked about a lot, you just go to the corner of it piece of audio and you get that symbol and you can just fade in or fade out and uh, I don't know if they had this before in Reaper but now if you select a track it'll tell you here what effects you have on that track so on lead bass left I have Amplitude 3 a high pass and a low pass filter so that's pretty neat um, to turn effects on and off you just hit the on button above effects on each tab um, to add effects you just click effects and it will scan your effects library wherever you have that set to and it will bring up your effects it's got them by type or I have like a favorites folder which has the ones I use most often and go to VST and um, select uh, uh, it's a low pass filter and then you have your effect so that's pretty easy and those are just some of the basics in Reaper and Reaper 4 is just as good as the previous version I haven't really noticed a lot of significant differences in my workflow but uh, they didn't change anything for the worse so that's good